Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, today we're going to make another mechanical DRO. This time for my router table. The other day I was building something on here and I needed to move this fence in, in increments. And, uh, well, I thought about embedding a ruler into the surface of this and just using the front edge of the fence to, as an indicator. But I didn't want to make a rough spot on my table, plus I wanted it resettable. In other words, I wanted to be able to slide that ruler in the slot and lock it down uh, to a new zero point, kind of like resetting your DRO. Anyway, so I got another plan. I don't really want to cut into my table and I didn't really know how to lock that ruler in the slot. So I got another plan. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, you saw this moving in the first part of the video. On the introduction. That movement is maximum about eight inches. It, it'll go off the edge of that a little bit. So I was thinking about mounting a, a wheel right here and making it 3.18 in diameter. 3.18 is exactly 10 inches. So that's more than I need. I'll turn that down so that it, I can wrap that tape around at one time and it'll be exactly 10 inches. And then I'm going to fasten that tape measure to the surface of that. Probably cut a little slot in there and leave that hook on there. And hopefully it'll be exactly 10 inches around. But then I'm going to make this freewheeling on there and put a cable from here to a spring underneath so that when you move the fence this rotates. And then I'll put a lock, locking set screw or lock collar right there and an indicator on this. My only question is, do I need to cut a slot for that cable to get the proper pitch diameter? That's 50 thousandths cable. I'm thinking I need to cut a 25 thousandths slot in this for that cable to ride in. The first thing first, I need to cut that down to 3.1, 3.18 I think. Okay, I want it 10 inches around, so 10 divided by pi is yeah, 3.18. So this is 3.48. It's 300 thousandths divided by 2 equals 15. 150 thousandths. I need to go 150 thousandths in right there. And 49. Look at there. 3.18. <laughs> I like it.
Yeah, let's see if this works out to advantages. Oh, exactly. Five A's. Okay, I'm going to cut a little groove with this tool right here for that cable. I'm thinking it needs to be about 25 deep. I don't know if that's got burrs on yeah, little, little burrs on the end. I like it. I hate to do this. Oh, perfect. perfect. I'm going to glue this on there and then I may take some screws somehow and hold it on there. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, fortunately, acetone doesn't take the image off this tape, and I can get the extra glue off. Contact cement's handy stuff, but it sure is sticky. We're going to go with a single spring, and if that doesn't work, I'll figure out a pulley system or a different spring. Right now, the fence is as far back as it'll, it can go. So, the spring needs to be compressed or not extended. I'll cut that off after I confirm that it works. Good. So now I got to build 
a lock collar with a pointer on it. And the idea here is I can turn this to zero. Right there. Now if I want to move it back one inch. Anyway, let's move let's uh make the pointer. Hopefully I got a five eighth lock collar. About one and a sixteenth. Set that at zero. And then I can go one and an eighth. My pointer is moving with the drum. That was a huge brain fart. Okay, what I gotta do. The vernier dial. Check it out. <laughs> uh, what I've got to do is make an arm on that and fasten it to the bottom of my table and let, let it slide on that, that shaft. It's pretty cool though. I've got a vernier, vernier dial. Okay, here's why I needed to do this. Uh, for things like this, I was making a thing to hold my reamers. And uh, after I made that first cut, the next step was inch and an eighth from that. I drew it all out in CAD for each step. So, what I do is zero this zero and then move it one and one eighth right there and then it's lined up for the next cut and then the next one is two and a quarter so I'll go to two and a quarter here Right there. And that's lined up for the next cut. The neat thing about it, and the reason I didn't want to put the ruler in the table, is because I can reset this. Reset to zero. At any, any time, any starting point I want, I can reset that to zero. It's like you would on a DRO. And I can go one inch from that zero point or back. Anyway, I like it. And I think it's going to work good. It's definitely got enough friction to drive. What I really need to do though is, is see if I move it 10 inches if I actually get a 10 inch move. Okay, that's most of the way back. 
And I can't really do a 10 inch move, so let's start at zero. And make a mark at six inches on my table. Ah, it's exactly, exactly. I remember I started from 10, so I'm at 4 now. Good deal. Well, aside from a few minor errors, that went pretty smooth and I'm tickled. Anyway, that about wraps it up for today. Thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.